Hey everyone, it's your girl, Sanj. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, today is a first on I Am Sanj, which is a makeup tutorial because I have spent the past, like, I don't know, low key four months or so figuring out how I can look cute on camera or whatever, um, but not spend like 30 minutes on my makeup because I'm trying to sleep in, okay? And I found a really great solution and that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all today. I am currently barefaced. I just applied a layer of primer. This is Revolution Pore Blur that I got on a random excursion to Walgreens, okay? Um, so this was maybe like $10, but I really like it. I just primed my face for a cute 15 seconds and I'm ready to keep it moving with y'all. Um, so if you're new here, go on and hit that young subscribe button. And we about to get right into this. Also, hold me accountable if this isn't actually five minutes, <laughs> but that's how long it's been taking me in the mornings, which has been really beautiful. Um, and so as y'all can see, I got all kinds of melanated colors going on here on my face. I have um, darker circles here underneath. You know, shout out to the motherland. I feel like, you know, that's part of that West African look, okay? But anyway, like low key. <laughs> Runs in the fam, so I've got that. I've also got some hyperpigmentation um, from different acne marks that haven't gone away. So we are gonna do a little bit of work to get that together. And so I have this powder, it's by Revolution. It's translucent powder. And I am just gonna take a wet beauty blender and put that right underneath my eye. Also on the tip of my nose and then back over to the other under eye. And I am going to pat that in. This is something that I do. Actually, it's it helps with this coloration, but really it's for um, mattifying because your girl is very oily. Um, and so this helps me stay matte. And so with that, just applied the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and spray. This is MAC, um, excuse me, not MAC, Urban Decay's All Nighter. Uh, another YouTuber, well, actually, a lot of YouTubers were using this. And so I gave in to see what they were talking about. And I see what they were talking about. It helps for us oily gals. So now I am ready to go in with my foundation. I'm actually low key, like you can see, I've actually been using this. This is NARS. I am in the color. Makayo, okay, Makayo. Um, and this is like a really nice color for me. I'm in Arizona, so y'all, I be changing colors all the time with this sun. Um, and so it's, eh, it's not quite full summer yet. I do wear sunscreen, but I say that to say this is kind of like me when I'm on the lighter, uh, the lighter side, um, of the year. So this is. A nice shade for this season and so as you can see I'm not super like glamorous with it I just kind of put it on there again take my wet beauty blender and get to blending and the cool thing about doing the mattifying spray prior to this is it helps just create um, a really even base along with the primer that I had already put on so it's like primer powder and then the urban decay um which all together just works for creating a really nice base okay got a little bit in my hair there gonna take care of that a little later okay and so usually honestly I'll do just like one layer today um, I might do a little bit more under the eyes and because I try to keep this you know quick or whatever in the morning I actually don't do concealer 
um, in terms of the whole thing of doing your foundation and then concealing. Um, partly just the way my eyes are in terms of being kind of deep set, it doesn't really work out too well for me. But also I don't have time to, you know, be doing layers on layers of concealer. So, yeah, I just do my first foundation layer. And then I do like um, a little bit of a lighter under eye look without doing the super bright concealer look. So I actually go back to that same translucent powder. Again, that was the Revolution translucent powder. And I just apply that back under the under eye. And so this kind of gives the illusion that I've done, you know, the whole concealer thing, but it's a little bit softer in my opinion. It's less harsh. Um, and by harsh, I mean like it's a little less bright, which is good for every day. Me and my everyday, um, you know, I'm on camera, not even like that, like <laughs> on camera for Zoom, uh, Zoom meetings and whatnot at work. So I don't want to, you know, show up like I'm going to the club with a super bright under eye. But this just kind of helps me look awake and it also um, is mattifying. So again, all of that. We love a mat. And so with that, this is pretty much the base that we're gonna be working with. And honestly, y'all, at this point, like my hyper, hyper I can't talk. My hyperpigmentation is low-key, like not super visible anymore. So I'm cool with that. Um, so I kind of I, I generally don't do eyeshadow on the day-to-day -day because I got time eyeshadow is fun so sometimes on Fridays you know gotta switch it up at work every now and then so I'll give them a little eyeshadow sange but usually I don't BRB looking for this brush so I just brushed my brows a little bit my brows I think this is what makes or breaks any look to be honest if I could only do one thing for makeup each day it would be brows um, and so the way, this is a new kind of technique I've been doing. My brows are pretty light. So I just like to go in and darken them in a little bit, fill them in a little bit. I'm not super like, super mega precise with it, to be honest, especially not with this step. But I do pull it in a little bit and towards my nose and I like to draw kind of those top and bottom lines as general guides again without being too particular about it um, and so I'm gonna go in and do the other one they don't have to be twins they just have to be sisters let's see Okay, so as you can see, like they're there, but again, like they're not, they're not super structured and that's intentional because again, this is my everyday. I personally, I think I'm just not <laughs> super structured. So I like a little bit of a less structured brow, but after I do that, and I just did that with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, by the way, um, I go back in and I have some fun with the inner corner, creating some hair-like strokes. And this is really where I add a little bit more detail. Again, going for a natural, almost like bushy look. Um, but I find that using this, and this is just a, a drugstore retractable brow pencil that I've gotten. Um, let me see what brand it is. It's in soft, bra soft brown, and I don't actually know the brown, um, but knowing me, it might be Winkle Print, to be honest. But anyway, yeah, so I found that this technique just gives a really natural look. And my goal, honestly, like when doing my makeup, especially for every day, I go for a bit of an effortless look where like I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like I spent all day on it necessarily. And it's not like the center of the center of the focus, but I can look 
put together and all that good stuff and as you can see it's a little kind of like messy around the um the side and i do that intentionally because i think that if i had bushy brows you know it'd be a little maybe a little rough around the edges so i just i'm embracing the rough around the edges so this is kind of like the major parts here and so the rest of what i do are the details so i'm gonna go in here with my favorite this is honestly my favorite um mascara i use this all the time and sometimes i'm like oh let me see if i can find something better and i try and i experiment with different mascaras and i always come back to this it's covergirl lash blast volume lash blast volume the orange bottle and i am just going over my top lashes i do also do the bottom um, but I don't do all of them. I just kind of do right below my pupil for a little extra depth and definition there without having to go around my whole, whole eye. So I'll do the other side. Same way, this time starting with the bottom. Also, at this point, I'm kind of like, yo, like this is in five minutes. But that's also because I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> but like in the morning when I'm talking to myself or talking to God, it actually is five minutes. So I got y'all there. Okay. So here we are, we've got our mascara done, we've got our brows, again, like super sweet, low key and natural. And I have huge cheeks, always have. Um, I'm into them, like I don't have a problem with them, but low key, you know, well, I'm into them, I don't have a problem with them. But I discovered that bronzer can help me just kind of like sculpt them a little bit without having to do a whole lot of contouring so this is a morphe um matte bronzer glamour bronze it is so good especially for us brown skin girls um because a lot of times bronzer colors it, it, you know it leans towards lighter skin tones but morphe does a really great job of creating some really beautiful skin tones for us as well um bronzer tones so i do my neck here to kind of like pull my jawline out a bit more and define that and then you know low-key like everybody does or whatever i just kind of swoop under the cheeks as you can see like i do have a, a cream contour stick that i use sometimes if i'm going for something that's a little more defined but for every day just going for light and airy and awake so i'm just kind of using like c strokes you can see here we've got a little bit of a line coming in then i'll wipe my brush off a little bit and just kind of soften that so that it's there but like it doesn't look like a super harsh line it looks a little more natural and then to make it look even more natural i do apply not every day but i've been loving it recently to apply blush um this is another thing where i feel like as black girls you know sometimes you're like "Ooh, is blush for me yes it is sis yes it is um, and really whatever skin tone you are, finding a really beautiful blush color for you can make all the difference. So I'm just kind of applying it on top of that bronzer that I applied, concentrating on the cheeks a little bit. This color, it's kind of like a, um, it's by Milani, shout out to Target. It's like a, it's called Cheek Kiss Merlot Moment, so it's almost like a rich not purple but kind of like a rich red and it's really pretty and so as you can see voila i look in my opinion a lot more awake than i did when we first started and i do love to do what i call a low-key lip um i think it helps bring it together some days i don't but i'm feeling it on today so i just do a cute 
rough little line just so that I know what I'm applying and I love Juvia's Place's lipsticks like this has been it honestly this has been it for me they taste really good they smell really good and they're like 10 bucks so I'm using the color me which is kind of like a pinkish nude as you can see it's really natural looking but also still looks intentional and then I go ahead and just apply lip gloss in the center for a little extra pop so as you can see this is the finished look super soft super pretty super low-key um and really really natural looking so i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial i'm gonna actually pull this button down a little bit i do that to keep my hair out of my face but you know i'm trying to show you these locks with it or whatever yes yes this is the look um so yes thank y'all so much for watching again if you haven't dis described if you haven't described if you haven't subscribed i'd love to see you back here again and thanks so much for watching